Hey, what's up and welcome back to my channel. Now today I'm going to be giving a review for the graphic novel Batman Rip. And this right here, as you can see, the one that I actually have. I just picked this up recently. Now I have always been wanting to, always have been wanting to read this particular storyline. It just took me a while to get to it. Now the writer of it is uh, Grant Morris, then you have like, the artists like Tony S. Daniel, and of course you know they had other artists like helping them. Now this actually follows the graphic tale Batman and Son too, which is awesome. So it's actually right after that, this storyline. Now I must admit, I thought it was a, uh, it was kind of hard to understand what was going on in it. But it, it was just okay. Now this really has kind of bothered me too because I know a lot of times some of these graphic novels like the Batman ones, like if you read them again, then it because they, they, they get better. It's like you get like a better understanding of them. You have like, you know what to expect, so it seems much better. But I must admit, this particular graphic novel, I wasn't really enjoying it at first, but I bet if I actually read it again, then I probably would like it a lot. But the, uh, the idea of it is uh, that Batman has to take on like, this enemy known as the Black Glove. And then he actually kidnaps Batman. And it's like at one point in the story, what he did to Batman was like just so confusing. Like once he do this one thing, then he's like other Batman sh like show up and so so it gets like rare. It's, it's like oh, it's all like over the place in my opinion. But I bet like I said, if I actually read it again, it'll be pretty uh pretty cool. Now when it opens, it has like an introduction which is kind of similar to a Batman the Killing Joke, where he's actually interrogating the Joker like inside Arkham. So I thought that was kind of cool that they did that. Then you have like new things like uh, a new Batmobile is being introduced. Now mind you, this occurred like back like in issues ago, you know, when they had brought out this new Batmobile and Damian Wayne was just even becoming like Robin, where he was on his way to becoming Robin. Because within the story, you have like moments where like, Tim Drake, he's in conflict with the idea that uh, Bruce Wayne actually has a son known as Damian Wayne. And he's even wondering if Damian is really uh, his son, you know. Because at one point, Bruce also had to get like a... Uh, like a test to see if Damon Wayne really was his son, so he had to test like Talia Agu to see. You don't really see it happening, but they actually are mentioning it. And Alfred also mentioned this to uh, Tim that Bruce Wayne says he's going to tell it to him eventually what what the results were. So I'm even kind of curious about that because they this is a spoiler. They, they didn't really reveal it in there, you know. And then Bruce Wayne has a relationship with this woman, which did start in uh, Batman and Son, which did start in this particular issue, like this woman known as uh, Je Jezebel. So I think that's kind of cool, the relationship that he had with her, because I wasn't really that familiar with that particular character, you know, so I thought that was kind of awesome. And it looks like she's African American too, like she's like black, you know, or she's like Hispanic or something, so I was kind of interesting. But, um, uh, now, it's like other things I must admit I thought was pretty cool. Uh, the Joker looks awesome in his chair because it's like the way he looks is just how he looked like in Batman or something. That actually like that robe skirt thing that he had on while he was like in Arkham so he still is dressed like that, you know. But other than that, there isn't that much Damian Wayne in this either because he was like in Batman or Son a lot. But other than that, that's about all I could say about this uh, particular storyline. I thought it was just okay. But like I said, that's what kind of bothers me too. It's like I said, if I read it again, I'll probably get like a better understanding of it and probably much better, you know. So yeah, in the end of uh, Batman, look, cause like I said, I can't even really talk about it because it was like it was like over, all over the place. It was kind of confusing, you know. But in the end of uh, Batman, rip, I'm going to just get this to C because I thought like the art was pretty good in it too as well. And I'm surprised it wasn't on the level of uh, like Batman and Son because this is from like, the same team of uh, Grant Morrison and Tony Daniel, Tony S. Daniel. So I thought it would be like much better, you know. But like I said, if I did it again, I probably, probably would like it a lot, you know. Because there's all other ones that I did. And I haven't re-reviewed them or anything like that. But I did end up liking them more. So I'm giving this just a C. Please leave a comment and uh, subscribe too as well.